Alright, so we in the hallway, and that only means one thing. You should be at the hallway hangout.blogspot.com with me, Roddy MC. Uh, oh, you're only get one shot. One shot, take it all. I hope I make it, baby. I hope I make it, baby. It's Sherelle Renee and I'm here with Rod the MC and we're doing it big for the whole way in pretty and gritty today. We got Rod here. So, first thing I gotta ask you is, Rod the MC, the name itself says so much because so many female rappers are just rappers. Yeah. How do you distinguish yourself um, as an MC versus just a rapper? Just a rapper. I feel like rap is fun and sometimes, you know, with rap you don't necessarily have to tell a story or have an impact. But if you're an MC, then you're trying to get a message across. So I just wanted it to be known, even at hearing my name for the first time. You know, I'm not just a rapper. I do really have something to say. Right, you know? right, right. So I was listening to the mixtape before I left the house. Part of the champion. I love it. I just was put on to you recently, but I'm so excited about it. I listened to the track Dreams. Okay. Now, it's ironic because I was just talking about Dreams earlier today, and I know Drake has a song called Closest to My Dreams. So I love songs by people who are, you know, chasing their dreams. So. What was the inspiration really for you behind that track? Behind that one song? Honestly, um, all the time I spent like writing songs leading up to this project, um, I wasn't decided on doing an album yet because I just signed a new situation. And that was the very first song that we recorded for the project. And it, it was honest to the space that I was in right there. I was like, yeah, I keep getting closer to this dream, but the closer I get, the further away it's saying. Exactly. Yeah. So I just felt like I know it's other folks. Put it on the record. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're from the DMV, so let us know what's the music scene like in the DMV, and I also know you used to live in New York and New Jersey, so how do those two states uh, get into your lyrics, like how, how does that, that kind of, you know, I don't like to say swag, but how does uh -huh. that whole state thing, uh -huh. New York and New Jersey combined with your DMV thing, how does that work out? I mean, well, it started in, in Jersey, mm -hmm. so that's the foundation, and that's why I guess a lot of folks don't even realize I'm from D.C. because it's an up north feel to it, mm -hmm. so, um, Coming home to DC, that was giving me the live side of it because you know DC is a lot of go-go music. Mm -hmm. So just putting those live percussions into my performances, and um, by the time I got home, I think I was comfortable with the artist I was, mm -hmm. and you know all of that came from New York. Right, right. So just yeah, taking your area. Exactly, that's what makes you you the collaborative yeah. effort from all the states yes. to help you be who you are. So another question I have is, I know you worked with Judah in the past. Do so you have any plans to work with him again? Yeah, we probably do some stuff in the future. Judah's grinding. He just put out a, a single back in the summer, and I know he's about to put out another one. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm sure we'll do that. All right. So uh, another question is, how do you feel the rap game is going? Like, what direction as far as female hip hop? Female, I think it's about to be crazy. I honestly feel like it's about to be the time where it was like Queen and Queen Latifah, mm -hmm. Kim, everybody at one time, and that's why I defend Nicki Minaj so much because folks don't realize she's opening the gates so exactly. that all of us can exist. Exactly. So I definitely think it's grind time. If women are ready to grind, we can get on, but right. you definitely got to grind. Right, and I respect that you respect other MCs because that's yeah. definitely a big thing. So as far as you growing up, who did you look up to as far as hip hop? And not even just women, but mm -hmm. MCs in general. Uh, Biggie is the epitome of everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah. Now I heard you mention the foodies as one of your, you know, rap inspirations. Yeah. So I'll say you use a Lauren Hill sample on the last yeah. mixtape. And I really liked it. But do people often compare you to Lauren Hill and do you feel like you're on the same plateau as her or do you plan to be? Do you want to be similar to Lauren Hill? Um, yeah. I feel like Lauren, you know, Lauren is Lauren and it's never gonna be anybody else that's comparable, you know, to what she's done and what she's doing now. Um, me using samples is just paying tribute to somebody I look up to. You know, you'll probably hear more Lauren samples or little Fuji renditions at the shows and stuff, but I would never. <laughs> you know, I, which I think is good. I feel like I feel like more people, more female MCs, MCs should definitely sample 
Laura Hill. Yeah. I feel like she was she was a legend. And yeah. even though it's only one album, I feel like she did her part. Definitely. Definitely. And another thing is a lot of people might not know or remember, but the real world season one, Heather B. Yeah, Heather B. You remind me a lot of Heather B. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Flow. Okay. I guess that's the New York in you. Yeah. But definitely. Heather B was dope. Yeah, she's dope. Yeah. Exactly. So I, I feel like you have great things coming and I look forward to the next mixtape. I look forward to the first album. Y'all look forward to it all because now that I meet you, she's very personal with us. So <laughs> yeah. give me your Twitter and give them all your information so okay. I can contact you. All right. Well, you can always download my music for free on um, studio43.com. Hit me on Twitter, backslash Raw DMC, R A T H E M C. Facebook, backslash Raw DMC, Raw DMC. Com. You got it. Now, we're going to give a big shout out to the hallway. We're going to give a big shout out to Pretty and Gritty. Thank you for tuning in. It's Rob the MC, Cheryl Renee, signing you think off. think you're going to make a profit. I'm 95 whipping, turnpike driving. Trooper pulled me over. I ain't even heard the siren. 